You thieving savage! Give the dead man back his shoes! Uh, he lives! Not for long. Where's Cookson? Did you find him? I followed the cord into the desert. He's gone. On the way, he opened the portal. And in so doing, alerted them to our presence. What if Kuxan does not return? What if he finds it and keeps it for himself? He will return. He needs this to show him the way. But will he return in time? Indio, get back to camp. We must prepare. You may keep the shoes. Fear not, my love. A long wait is near its end. book is so trippy. It says there are other dimensions of people carrying the exact same space as us right now, except we can't even see them or know about them because our consciousness isn't tuned into the higher astral plane. You have to stop believing everything you read in books, Trey. Imagine this, okay? There could be a dude in this car right now with us, and we don't know about him, and he could be going someplace else completely. Hope he's wearing his seatbelt. So there are 17 levels of consciousness, but most people only ever achieve level two. If <laughs> that. Can you get past level two of consciousness last time you went to the sweat lodge? Huh? Oh. Yeah, man. I got way past. You know, I thought something was different about you. I'm looking forward to this. This place is gonna blow your mind. What if I don't want my mind blown? Hey Trey, what's that? I would not want to break down out you here. Should stop and help him. Are you kidding? He could be an axe murderer. Or an old guy who needs help. We're not stopping. We'll be late for the ceremony. 
Daniel, it's a sweat lodge, not a NASA space launch. Scott? He's got tools. He probably knows what he's doing. Are you guys that cruel? We will not be late for the ceremony. Stop the car. What? Stop the car. Daniel, stop! Lucky you kids stop, are you? My house still five miles down the road. Ah! We were happy to stop and help. Waitress, get a couple drinks over here? Stop it, Joey! This isn't a nightclub, this is a sweat lodge. What, they don't serve drinks at a sweat lodge? The Sand and Spirit Sweat Lodge welcomes you on your journey to spiritual enlightenment. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Slap shot. You a gold prospector, Mr. Oldman? 35 years. Legend says that there's a giant amount of gold buried out in the mountains there somewhere. Have you found any gold? Any at all? You think I'd be driving around in this old truck if I found any gold? I know it's out there, I can smell it. And I aim to get it before they do. Riding down you! I'm afraid of you! What the hell was that? It's nothing. It's just the wind picking up the sound going through the buttes. That was creepy. It's just the wind. Almost like the mountains are trying to say something to us. The Indians say there's a lot of strange magic goes on in the mountains up there. Native American. You know, I like the ancient beliefs because we're all here for the purpose, right? It's like uh, trying to find our destiny. You know, the Indians also say, you want to be careful what you wish for. You might just get it. That's a Chinese curse about destiny, not Native American. Sometimes destiny can be a bitch. You want to remember that when you open the sweat lodge. Can we go yet? try.
You got a screw loose, mister. Don't say. Ground wire to the alternator. Screw came loose. Uh, I get that fixed. Thanks for your help, Scott. There. One good deed done. Don't you feel better? the bonds of linear finite existence and pass through the multi-dimensional portal to higher consciousness. Far out, man. Oh, brother. Now, when you enter the sweat lodge, leave behind everything you know of this material world. What lies beyond, I cannot say. There are no boundaries to the amount of joy you will find there, nor limits to the terror that you may find in the dark depths of your own soul. Now, everyone, to the sweat lodge! Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, everyone. Uh, before we begin the hike to the Sweat Lodge with Godric, uh, please come to the table and purchase a guest pass. Visa, MasterCard, Amex, and of course good old American cash is accepted. And uh, if anyone has a coupon, please present it first, okay? I printed this coupon off the website. Oh, sandspirit.com. Subtle. See, Daniel, we made it on time. Easy, Daniel. Looks like somebody needs some time in the sweat lodge, huh? I'll be fine. Let's go. I can't wait to go to the lodge and sweat with you. This is interesting. Very interesting. I'll send them away. Tell them we're full. No. It might cause problems. I have to let them in. Well, you better keep a close eye on them. We don't want a repeat of last time. Not with that reporter here. I'll watch him like a hawk. people. This is Erin White, Senior Investigative Journalist for SpiritConspiracy.com, webcasting live. Today, I'm going to unmask the truth behind a popular but dangerous ritual known as a sweat lodge. And this is its proprietor, Mr. Godric. Mr. Godric? Just Godric. 
The use of multiple names leads to identity crisis in many people as the dual monikers battle for superior position. Why we gotta hike all the way to a lodge to sweat? I'm sweating buckets right here. It's a different kind of sweat. Sweat is sweat. You have marketed yourself for over a year now as a shaman, offering a direct portal to a so-called parallel astral plane. Shaman? No, I'm merely a guide. Sherpa, helping the people with their heavy load up the mountain to enlightenment. Well, as you may know, the root word from which shaman derives is sham. Sham? You want to know a sham? That internet of yours is a sham. A futile attempt to create a digital dimension, interconnected with electrons, and purely for capitalistic purposes. You charge a hefty fee to participate in your sweat lodge ceremonies. Isn't that capitalist? Do you know what a gift economy is, Miss Blogger? Well, I'm not aware of that term. Let me Google it. In ancient and uncivilized countries, the gift economy was the main means for economic balance, where everyone contributed something to the group, obligating the others to contribute in kind, be it food, talent, leadership, even certain intimate favors. I think we have a different term for that these days. Well, the Sweat Lodge is a place to get answers and guidance by asking the Creator, Mother Earth, and other spiritual entities for wisdom and power. Did you find wisdom or power when you were out here last month, Daniel? Found both, Scott. Daniel, I gotta admit, you're kinda creeping me out here. Scott! Well, first, Trey is some kind of space Hindu. Buddhist. And then, he comes back all born again or something. What is going on with you guys? Maybe we're just opening up to new things. You know, changing and growing. What's wrong with the way things were? It's called maturity, Scott. It's what happens in life when- Oh my god, a snake! Karen, do something, please! Okay, okay, give me a rock. Hey, hey, no, no, there's no need to kill this, all right? All it wants to do is go on its way, live its life, all right? Give me a rock anyway. I want to live my life. You know, you didn't have to do that, Daniel. Come on, let's catch up to the others. You know, there is a path to enlightenment, Daniel. You should try walking it sometime. Well, are you coming? Let me get my rock. Before Mr. Ira came here, we lived on ramen noodles and slept in an open tent. Is that a dish dash you're wearing? What kind of Indian are you exactly? Cherokee? Hopi? You look like a normal guy. What do you hope to gain from this experience? Gain? A new life for me and my friends. You mean a new outlook on life? Yes, that's what I mean. Do you belong to anyone? What? No, I don't belong to anybody. When this is over, I'll return for you. When what is over? Beyond that door lies spiritual enlightenment, limited only by your imagination. Inside, unlike the 
flip-flop fluffy robe, pampered phoniness of the bourgeois day spas. This lodge offers the Spartan simplicity of sand and spirit. Now, let's enter the lodge. And remember to leave all material instincts and interests outside. Strip! Oh, I did not need to see that. Gentlemen, please don't be alarmed. The clothing optional is uh, optional, and so please put any jewelry, watches, bracelets, the best place or to items sit. that may melt, such as eyeglasses, credit cards, uh, belts, and such, into the basket. Please remember that this is a sweat lodge, and you will um, sweat. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Good to welcome. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for keeping your clothes on. Oh, please put your jewelry in the basket. Earrings, necklaces, bracelets. Hey, I don't take my bling off for nobody. Shall we? Come on, Scott. It's a sweat lodge, not an orgy. I certainly hope not. Uh, you can't take that camcorder in there. Uh, no pictures allowed. I'll keep an eye on it. Better. Uh, and you're gonna be awfully hot in that jacket and all those clothes. Just want you to be comfortable. Better? Enjoy the show. In this lodge, We've brought all the elements of the universe together in the ultimate spiritual conveyance. Ah, the uh, liquid in this chalice represents the precious water that gives life here on Earth, which itself is represented by the sand upon which you sit. The fire. The fire represents... Fire! Another big element in the universe, as you may know. Ah, this bowl contains the magic dust, which brings all of the energy together into a big bang. Take a pinch of the powder as it passes. And on my cue, throw it onto the flames to begin the combustion process that will take us to a new spiritual dimension of infinite spiritual being. A world otherwise experienced only through death or by chemical means. yourselves go the orb, Scott. It's good. Come with us. Holy crap! I 
I mean, wow. That was a, a multi-dimensional electromagnetic pulse. Pure energy from beyond. Uh, it's, it's really hot in here, isn't it? Um, let's, uh, let's take a break, shall we? Everyone, please, if you wouldn't mind. Outside, thank you. Outside, thank you so much. It was fan freaking tastic. Oh. You were supposed to be keeping an eye on them. I was. I got into the moment and I closed my eyes for just a minute and then flash boom, they were gone. There's no back door to the lodge. One way in, one way out. Did you see them leave? No, no one came in or out. They've got to be around here somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Friends? Valerie? Trey? Wake up. What happened? Where are we? Oh, we're at the sweat lodge, remember? No, we're not. Look. Where's Daniel? Who are you? I work on a ranch, nearby. Nearby what? Come on, I'll take you. someone drug us and just drag us off into the middle of the desert. Maybe they thought we were dead. Something's not right. Come. I'll take you to see Lord Montague. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. These are the stables, where we keep the horses. What horses? Where we kept the horses. Cookson! My lady, I've brought them as you and Lord Montague have requested. Oh. Uh, they meet with your approval, my liege. Clumsy clamoring through the portal is leading them straight to us. Might as well have perched a flag atop the wall. So if it please your lordship, I shall lead them away. You lead nothing, you stupid cook. You shall return at once and prepare for our arrival. Of course, my liege. I go immediately. And make sure nothing interferes from the other side. Somebody tell me what's going on around here?
You are the followers of the one called Daniel. Followers? Hardly. Then who is your leader? We don't have a leader. We're friends. Hello, friend. Leave them alone! Ah! Ah! Leave them to their work. This one fights well. I wonder what kind of dark secrets your mind holds. So, she calls to you, the leader. First we must break their spirits, then we can steal their bodies. Scott, you're driving kind of fast. What's going on? I don't want to be a nag, little brother, but uh, you keep driving like this, I'm gonna lose control. I can't stop! Sure you can, just uh, aim for that ditch up there. Oh. Just stop. Scott? Scott, what are you doing? Scott, what the hell are you doing? Trey! Come on, man. They're not gonna wait all day. Come on! Come on! So we got everyone down the hill and sent them on their way. Surprisingly, no one wanted a refund. We could be on to something here. A 30 minute experience. Ira. Ah, right, you get burned out too quickly. Okay, so four shows a day and we hire a second shaman. And how are we supposed to explain that during every ceremony, 30% of our audience disappears into thin air? He came back last time. I'm sure they know their way back from wherever it is they went. We let them go to an unknown fate. There were four paying tickets. Is that all it is to you? Six months ago, you and Murky were living hand to mouth up here, talking to the snakes, and drinking that tea that he brews in the mucky water. <laughs> it has nothing to do with poverty. That's just the way Murky makes his tea. My point is, finally on your way to being somebody. In 12 to 18 months, you could be set for life. Full of excuses, aren't you? I. I get it. Hey, Valor. How about I just hang out for a few minutes and then I'll go? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Alan? Alan? <laughs> Valor. <laughs> 
bodies in both of us. <laughs> Scott! Skip. What happened? I don't know. I, I think you wrecked the car. No. It was three years ago. You were driving. You you drove. Scott, I need you to help me. I, I I'm trapped. I can't I think I'm bleeding. My legs. Help me. Damn it! Sorry. Uh, I don't I don't know what to do. What do we do? Well, I guess I die. That's what I do. You shouldn't have been driving so fast, brother. Oh! Holy crap! I mean, uh... Wow! Hello, sweetie. Feeling better this morning? Valerie, let's talk about last night. want to take things slow. I understand. What we have is just fine. For now. Well, look who showed up. Uno, dos, Trey. You know why they call him Trey? Because he puts three bullets in their head when he pops a dude. It's not my life anymore. Sit down, Trey. Yeah, and cut the pacifist Buddha shit. Do what the man says. Drink? Oh, that's right. You don't drink anymore. See, we're a forgiving bunch, aren't we, boys? Willing to forgive and forget and take you back in. And if I don't? Did your laundry? <laughs> Trying to get some rest. When I get back, we'll try again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
You know who this is, Trey? <laughs> this is the rat bastard that killed Jesse. Your friend, your brother in arms. And today, this is day of reckoning. I'm lost in the desert, but my horse knows the way. He asks me things, but I won't have much to say. series of strange events has unfolded. Check out my secret camera video of today's unusual ceremony. Those people disappearing from view didn't sneak out the back door. They vanished into thin air. thought you'd like to be the one to carry out the sentence on him. See, it was me and Nico that found Jesse. And I couldn't even recognize him because of how bad they worked him over. You want to know what this piece of shit did to him? They smashed his cheekbones and his eye sockets with a crowbar. I don't believe you. Maybe you just don't want to believe. But it's all true. This piece of shit right here he stepped on Jesse's neck to hold him down. And then put a gun to his face and blew his frickin' brains out. Now give this piece of shit what he deserves, Trey! For Jesse! I had everything going for me. What did you have? Skip. What did you have? I, I, I don't... Nothing. Nothing, Scott. No smarts, no sports, no <laughs> girls, nothing. You should be the one laying here bleeding to death, not me. None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. You should be here, not me. Skip. <laughs> My brother, I loved you. Then do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Right. <laughs> Make things different. <laughs> Trade places with me, Scott. You die. No. You die. No. Make it better. Make it better, Scott. <laughs> so preoccupied with the afterlife. They're not gonna figure it out in this lifetime. It's not about the afterlife. 
It's about trying to understand the journey to get there. It's called life. I never believed in any spiritual crap. Well, maybe we should. The scientific term for this unusual phenomenon is a geomagnetic anomaly. It's like an invisible bubble of electromagnetic pulses that floats around the desert floor and buttes, causing disruptions in electronic devices such as cell phones, radios, and even car engines. When it recurred this week, scientists from the State University deployed with an array of measuring devices to try and this bubble up. your voice before I'm trapped in a car wreck <laughs> car wreck that's a new one I didn't even think you had cars oh well when your numbers up <laughs> Disney's a bitch ain't it Mr. Oldman one and the same I fixed your truck this morning what kind of tricks you trying to play on me spirit spirit no, I'm Scott I fixed the loose alternator wire. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting you to die. Not so young, anyways. I'm not dead. <laughs> if you are, either you're dead or I am. <laughs> we went to the sweat lodge, and everything got cloudy. And then there was these strange people. So you gotta listen to me. This hole that we're talking through, it's blown around the wind. I don't know how much time we got. You cannot trust those people. I know them. I talked to them before. Who are they? What do they want? They're supposed to be dead, but they ain't. What? The four of them stole a shitload of gold from an ancient Indian burial site. And before they could get away, the Indian spirits got them and killed them in the desert. But not all the ways. The, the, the desert winds blew their bodies away years ago. But they found a place to hide. And I reckon that's where you are. You're crazy. Am I? A lot of people think this is legend. I talk to them, I know exactly what they're up to. See, between you and me, I've been trying to talk to them, find out where that gold is, so I can keep it all for myself. I didn't think they're coming back, but they must have found a way through that sweat lodge. They're coming back for their gold, and they're gonna use you on your friends. This is all about gold? Montague is a wicked man. Over the years, he built up a lot of power, and he aims to come back and use that evil unless somebody can stop him. I don't have any powers. Yes, you do, Scott. Yes, you do. Just don't let him play tricks with you. Don't let him get into your head. I think it's too late for that. Scott, you gotta get out of there. You can't let Montague and his friends come back. I can't. I'm trapped. D don't fade out on me. What? Wait. Don't fade out on me. What? I heard him talking about something a couple of times. Follow the golden trail. What are you talking about? This is just great. Now another one's gone missing. The police are gonna haul us away forever. It's Erin, the blogger. She just sent out a tweet about a new story she's posting. Hey buddy, how you doing in there? Dad? He's gone, isn't he? I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to get here in time to see him. 
You gotta get out of there. Try dad with it. I can't. You can't expect me to bail you out every time, Scott. You have to grow up. Find your own way. Please, help me. This looks like our old house. We don't live here anymore. Dad, I've got to find my friends. They're in trouble. You need to rest a while, son. Stay here a little longer. What about Valerie? Valerie's fine, Scott. She's in a better place. She's with someone. He'll take care of her. What are you talking about? She's so soft. So pretty, but so fragile. I don't know who you are, what this place is, or why you're trying to mess with my mind. Because I'm your father, Scott. <laughs> no! Touches me, you puny mortal. Now you'll die in the sand like your friend Daniel.
This has to be hers. I, I watched everyone else leave. Well, didn't she go when everybody else left the sweat lodge? Then where is she? You don't think? <laughs> Why would you ever want to leave me? <laughs> Look at this home I've made for you. <laughs> this, this isn't my home. This is our home. I don't belong to you. We belong to each other. We're married. No! The shaman conducting today's ceremony denies any involvement with the disappearances. However, it appears this isn't the first time. Wait. The most amazing story I've ever covered. I can't let. I want to come with you. All right, Miss Internet. I know you're in here. Show your. Where were you? We've been right here, hiding. Both of you. The whole time. Impossible. We need to get some fresh air. Wait, I, 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 I need to, I, how did you? I need to know. I didn't marry you. You love me. I would never love you. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Uh, it's gonna be a lot longer than uh, that. Uh, Valerie! 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 Scott! Help you! Shut up! Just shut up! Valerie! Valerie, are you in there? Wish you could see how stupid you look. Scott! Help you! Valerie! Listen to me. Don't believe what you're seeing. <laughs> Fight it. I'm gonna show you just what it feels like when someone you love turns on you, just like you did to me. Valerie, fight it. You can win. Get out of here. This is Daniel. Today, he and three of his friends literally disappeared from the Sand and Spirit Sweat Lodge, only to reappear two hours later. Daniel, tell us where you went. I didn't go anywhere. Well, come on, Daniel, the truth. Did that faker Godric set this all up? A big hoax? He's not a faker, he just doesn't understand the true nature of what's happening up there. And you do? She shouldn't have been able to hurt me. Our illusions were very complete. Yet they broke free. Your wounds will heal, my love. If they discover their lifelines before sunset, they could return through the portal. We shall not let that happen. They will not leave the other behind. The 
the devil's warriors come to drag us to hell. We're stealing the gold from the sacred grounds of my people. No, you savages have no claim on these lands, nor to my gold. We shall return to Earth to reclaim our riches. When the sun sets, those three shall die. Pull over here. What? Stop here now! No. up to interfere. Inter interfere with what? Give me the keys. No? Leave any loose ends. We have to do something. Three kids disappearing from your lodge is gonna kill our business. What do you think it's gonna do to them? We have a good thing going here. These people come up here and they listen to what you have to say. It brings meaning to their lives. They believe in you. Well, I don't believe in myself. Who cares? What do you want me to do? going on. But I 
think I'm starting to figure it out. We're gonna get out of this. Scott. What did you do to him? We did nothing. All the damage was done when Cookson took his body. I must admit, I am surprised he lived so long without his lifeline, being such a weak one. I'm sorry, Scott. I, I couldn't fight them all. That's all right, Daniel. We're here now. You will be here for a long time. All the wounds you caused us will disappear once we take over your bodies and return to our world. I cannot wait to walk in my new body. <laughs> a beautiful specimen. Try that again and I'll stab your eyes out. It is time, my lord. Upon us! Trey, you've got to get out before sundown. That's the plan, Dan. What is this stuff? I can't cut it. Follow the lifelines back before they cut them and take your bodies. They can only do it when the sun sets. Not without you. Take them! Now! We're gonna beat them this time. Uh oh. I'll be back.
now. We're too close to lose now. But where are the lifelines? There! The Golden Path. It's like the old man said. That's the way out. When you cut the lines, hold on tightly! Look! What magic is this? Well, that was interesting. Holy crap. Godric, help us! I must remind you that we have a strict no refund policy. Well, if it isn't Romeo and Juliet and their faithful sidekick Tonto. It is the devil! Devil? Hardly. You want a piece of me, huh? is true. You shall soon see how true it is. my sneakers.
What if it's another trick? Ah! 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 was a trip. How do we know we're really back? We're back. They didn't know about Daniel, but I did. I should have done something when he brought them here. But I didn't believe the legend. At the very least, I'm gonna get one hell of a story out of this. What do you have to say about what happened here today? Just this. This place is closed. Forever. And you can quote me on that. Come on, Henry. Let's get moving. Where are we going? We're gonna find a wayward spirit. We gotta send him back where he was meant to go. Well, now you're talking. Godric! Bio con Dios. any of your crappy 
It's okay. It was nothing but a bad dream. tractor trailer or caught in a tractor beam. You keep it tuned right here to Haywagon 7-Eleven, your station for country gold. Don't let one of them geomagnetic alien amylies put sand in your skivvies. Roll down your windows, crank up the volume, and give them little green aliens a big blast of red, white, and blue. Took one look at her face 